According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, which is approximately 671 million miles per hour in a vacuum. Physics dictates that particles with mass would require limitless energy to achieve the same velocity. Nonetheless, others think that traveling faster than the speed of light may one day be conceivable, if not already exist. Hello and welcome to Z, and today we're answering the unusual question, has faster than light travel already been invented? Do you require answers to the major questions? Then why not subscribe to Z for more videos like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking information. We didn't know how light traveled for most of human history. Was it moving instantly or at a faster rate than we could detect? This dispute began with the ancient Greeks and continued all the way up to 1675. The 17th century saw advancements in scientific experimentation, which sparked curiosity in determining if the speed of light could be measured. Galileo Galilei, a pioneer of classical physics who was the first to recognize that mathematics played a critical part in understanding the nature of the cosmos, was one of the most important scientific figures of this time period. He paved the way for later astronomers like S. Christian Huygens and Isaac Newton by describing the actual outcomes of investigations in mathematical terms. Galileo is best known for supporting heliocentrism, improving telescope technology, and discovering Jupiter's moons. He was, however, the first person to attempt to measure the speed of light. The experiment, conducted in 1638, involved measuring the time it took between the uncovering of a lantern and the perception of its light by an observer less than a mile away. The experiment proved inconclusive, as one would expect given the speed of light, which requires instruments capable of measuring microseconds. Galileo was unable to ascertain if light was instantaneous, but stated that if it was not, it must be extraordinarily fast. Only a few decades later, astronomers Ole Christensen Romer and Christian Huygens performed the first quantitative measurement of the speed of light in 1675. Romer began by collecting data on Jupiter's innermost moon Io. His initial purpose was to measure Jupiter's eclipse of Io and get an exact estimate for the moon's orbital period. After obtaining these data on a regular basis for years, he observed that the intervals between eclipses varied proportionally to the distance between Earth and Jupiter. Romer noticed that when Earth and Jupiter were closest, the eclipses occurred around 11 minutes earlier than expected, and the opposite was true when the separation was greatest. There was no way for Io's orbit to be modified by its distance from Earth, leading Romer to conclude that this occurrence was caused by the finite speed of light. He calculated that light takes around 22 minutes to cross the Earth's orbit. Huygens, another astronomer, used this estimate to determine the speed of light to be somewhat more than 136,700 miles per second, around three-quarters of the true figure. The centuries that followed saw the development of a profusion of new and improved methods for testing and measuring the speed of light, yielding increasingly accurate values. For example, in 1964, MIT researcher William Bertazzi accelerated electrons to various speeds and discovered that it was impossible to accelerate them faster than the speed of light. Finally, in 1983, an international commission established the speed of light as the value we now use, establishing it as an explicit constant. The theory of light is completely developed in modern physics, and it describes all light as being made up of photons, massless, bosonic particles. These particles are the building blocks of all electromagnetic waves, including radio waves, microwaves, and x-rays. All of these move at the speed of light in a vacuum. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, ordinary matter and energy cannot travel faster than the speed of light, establishing it as the universal speed limit for matter. The theory also claims that the velocity of a photon remains constant regardless of whether its source is moving or stationary. Consider a train traveling at many miles per hour. If a light is emitted in the direction of motion, it will travel at the speed of light, not at light speed plus the velocity of the train. 
This puzzled Einstein because the concept doesn't make much sense when first encountered. He eventually devised a gigantic solution to this dilemma, concluding that time slows down for an object in motion relative to an object at rest. This means that a moving clock will experience time at a slower rate than a stationary one. So why is it that nothing travels faster than light? According to Einstein's equations, it would take an unlimited amount of energy to propel a mass at the speed of light. Time slows down as an entity approaches light speed. At light speed, it would come to a full stop. And so would the object's velocity, establishing a barrier that nothing in the cosmos could break through. Surprisingly, Einstein's general theory of relativity is technically compatible with things moving faster than the speed of light. It's simply not physically conceivable for the reasons stated above. At least not for the majority of things, nature contains a few exceptions, but they are not in the way you might think. For starters, the Big Bang accelerated beyond the speed of light. However, this does not violate the premise that nothing can move faster than light speed because it was not a physical entity expanding, but rather the fabric of space itself. Because the velocity of the released photons mix with the expansion of the universe, really distant galaxies appear to recede away from us faster than the speed of light. Nothing in this scenario is traveling faster than light speed. The galaxies themselves are moving away at an extremely slow rate, but the space between us is expanding at such a rapid rate that it appears differently. As previously stated, the principles of physics claim that exceeding the speed of light is impossible. Some speculate that there may be a particle that always exists beyond the boundary. These basic particles, known as tachyons, currently exist only theoretically, and only just so, as they do not appear to be compatible with most of modern physics. Tachyons have never been observed in nature either. No particle has ever traveled faster than the speed of light. CERN announced in 2011 that they had identified a town neutrino, but the result was disappointing due to malfunctioning equipment. Wormholes could also be used to achieve faster-than-light travel. These are theoretical structures that can be imagined as tubes with opposite ends in space-time. They work entirely within our understanding of physics because they are based on Einstein's field equations. At the moment, none have been observed in nature. Even if we did find one, investigating its interior might not be a good idea. The Alcubierre Drive, introduced in 1994, is the most promising way of traveling faster than the speed of light. The reason this is such a promising concept is because it does not actually travel faster than the speed of light to enable faster-than-light travel, which is a bit difficult to grasp. The primary premise of the drive is that it reduces space in front of it while expanding space behind it, creating a warp bubble that allows for above-light speed space travel. What's inside the warp bubble is actually immobile, it's the region the bubble is riding that is moving, therefore relativistic effects like time dilation and so aren't necessary. As of present, there is no known means to construct one of these drives, and there is also no proposed mechanism to escape from one once inside it. It also necessitates the manipulation of dark energy and exotic matter, both of which we do not fully comprehend. On the other hand, one physicist, Harold White, believes an Alcubierre drive could be invented sooner than we anticipate. He published a study titled Warp Field Mechanics 101 in 2011, considerably boosting the concept's credibility. Dr. White leads a research team at NASA's Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory that stated in May 2021 that they may have discovered the perfect mechanism for a chip-scale warp drive. Because research is ongoing, keep an eye out for any successes from Dr. White's tests. So, to summarize, has faster-than-light travel been invented? As things stand, mankind have only succeeded in science fiction. There is a chance that distant alien civilizations perfected faster-than-light travel millions of years ago, but this is a long shot. Many consider it impossible to travel faster than the speed of light in the universe. However, other people, such as Dr. White and Dr. Alcubierre, are increasingly optimistic that we will accomplish it someday, possibly even within our lives. What are your thoughts?
Is there anything we left out? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our latest content.